Also tonight, family, friends, neighbors remembering Darian Wiley and calling for change. The 27 year old was fatally shot along with 24 year old Olivia Brown in the Kennedy King neighborhood early Saturday morning. CBS 4's Max Lewis tells us that neighborhood is now calling on IMPD and the city to step up and do something after a string of violent incidents. Residents of the Kennedy King neighborhood are not only scared, but fed up after two violent incidents in just over 48 hours, a home riddled with bullets and then two people senselessly gunned down in this area and they want something to change. After interrupting thieves going through a car early Thursday morning, residents who didn't want to be identified said those thieves shot up their home, bullets hitting their windows, doors and penetrating the siding, ending up in the stair banister. Then early Saturday, as Darian Wiley walked his friend Olivia Brown to her car, neighbors say the two were shot in cold blood by two hooded people. He really just meant the world to me, and um, I'm just I'm just devastated that this could happen. Darian's roommate Adam said he was always careful and cautious, and it could have been anyone. I just don't feel safe anymore in, in this neighborhood. Calls have been made where it works, but also doesn't show up. And he is not alone. Tonight, dozens of residents met with IMPD asking for help fighting crime. This was a shock to all of us. We don't expect this kind of violence in this direct neighborhood. Many grilled police officials about things like lack of patrols and streetlights going unfixed. For Brett McAuliffe, the blame isn't for officers. I think they're good people. I don't think the system has helped. I think the system has failed us um, in multiple respects, including the lights and the patrols. Many also upset that they didn't even know about the home being shot up until after Saturday's double killing. Do you think that would have changed things had you guys known? Yes, I 100% feel that way. For their part, IMPD said it would keep up overt and covert patrols, asking residents to be vigilant. Neighbors told us they're hopeful but scared, worried what happened to Darian could happen to them. That could have been anybody. He didn't lose his life because he did something wrong. He lost his life because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And our neighborhood should not be the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, so far, no arrests have been announced in any of these cases. Anybody with information is asked to give Crime Stoppers a call. In the Kennedy King neighborhood, Max Lewis, CBS 4 News. Max, thank you. IPD did release some specific numbers on violence in the Kennedy King neighborhood. You can find those and more of what neighbors are saying tonight on our website, CBS4ND.com.